All right, just going to do a video refuting the Luciferian antinomian doctrine, uh, basically just denying any kind of moral standards and moral codes for a Christian to follow. Because you read about Luciferianism, they teach that you just do whatever you want, there's no moral standards for you to follow. Yeah, that's why I say the antinomianism is essentially a Luciferian doctrine by the standards of what a Luciferian, how he conducts himself. Now I'm going to show some scriptures that show that yes, there is in fact a moral code, a moral standard that Christians, New Testament Christians have to follow. Just because you're under grace does not mean you got to just do whatever you want or you're able just to do whatever you want without consequence, by the way, too. You can't lose your salvation because you're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. But there is still chastening and chastisement that happens on the earth. Okay, so here's some scriptures that just destroy the Luciferian antinomian doctrines of just denial of any moral standards. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Now the Luciferian antinomian would either ignore this passage or say, well, uh, just don't pay attention to that. Basically, we'll say, well, uh, should we continue in sin that grace may abound? Well, who cares? But they ignore the fact that Paul says, God forbid. You know, you are under grace, but the grace does not give you some kind of license to go out and just do whatever you want and sin all you want. And I want to point this out too. You have a false dichotomy. You have one side of the, the Pelagian, uh, Arminian, hyper, you know, work salvation, lordship salvation preachers who are teaching full on workspace salvation. And on the other side, you have these lawless antinomians who don't teach any kind of moral standards. Both sides are false. Both sides are, are heretical and teach a false gospel. The biblical ground is salvation is not by your works, but after salvation is a change that comes in your life. There's sanctification and regeneration from the Holy Ghost. So it's a whole false dichotomy. I, I'll cover that in probably another video. But Romans chapter 6, verse 15 it says, What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. So Paul's further reiterating that just because you're under grace does not mean you just go and sin all you want. Uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. Another good kick at the antinomian, luciferian, false doctrine of lawlessness. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all hath, hath appeared to all men, sorry, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. The, the grace of God does not teach you just live however you want with no consequence. No, he's teaching you to, to deny ungodliness and to live soberly and righteously and godly. But the antinomian would have you believe otherwise, the Luciferian antinomian. And uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, not, sorry, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. But you see, the antinomian would use his liberty for an occasion to the flesh. You have Jack Smack 77, or as I call him, Jack Smack 666, who uses liberty to go and play wicked, violent video games like Grand Theft Auto. I showed him one of my videos exposing him. But they use liberty as an occasion to the flesh, contrary to what Paul said in Galatians 5.13. And finally, Jude 1, verse 4. Last scripture I'm going to turn to, Jude 1, verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of God, grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the antinomian does. They turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. That's why I say, again, it's a Luciferian doctrine. You study anything about Luciferianism, uh, they believe, just live however you want, there's no moral standards. Yeah. So don't be deceived by the Luciferian false doctrine of antinomianism. It is a gospel, a false gospel of lawlessness. You know, they, they do say that salvation is not by our works, but again, the false dichotomy of the one side saying this hyper work salvation, the anti the Arminian conditional security heretics, then the other side you have the hyper just easy believism, no moral standards. Both again, both sides are false. And and they are leading will lead you astray if you get mixed up with either side. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.